The fate of the Chicago Bears upcoming season is largely going to lie on the shoulders of Justin Fields and he has no more excuses. There were a good amount of people who going into this offseason felt like the Chicago Bears should have drafted Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud number one overall and they should have traded Justin Fields. Now I felt like that was a lot of ludicrous but if Justin Fields struggles this season then it kind of seems like those people who felt like Justin Fields should have been traded are going to be proven right. But the majority of people out there expect Justin Fields to take a ginormous leap this year. And there's no reason why he shouldn't because all of the issues that held back Justin Fields and the Bears offense last year, they improved. He didn't have a good offensive line. They improved the offensive line. They drafted offensive tackle Darnell Wright in the first round of this past year's NFL draft. They signed offensive guard Nate Davis. You got Tevin Jenkins. They had a really good left tackle as a rookie last year. So this offensive line, it may not be the greatest, but it should be way better this season compared to last year. You finally gave Justin Fields a proven number one wide receiver going out and trading for DJ Moore when you gifted the Carolina Panthers the number one overall pick in that trade. You're going to have Darnell Mooney coming back fully healthy. We don't know how good the slot receiver position is going to be. It's either going to be Chase Claypool or somebody else, but this is a way better team that Justin Fields has around him this season compared to last year. And this should be a really good defense. You had a lot of talented young players on this defense last year. Matt Eberflus is a defensive minded head coach, so this defense should be way better this year compared to last year. Justin Fields has everything necessary for him to get the Chicago Bears to the playoffs this year. And how far they go this season is largely going to depend on how he performs. And Justin Fields was not bad last year. I'm a little bit puzzled that people who watch the Chicago Bears, at least people who allegedly watch the Chicago Bears last year, watch Justin Fields play and make it seem like this guy wasn't that good and he was a scrub. In the majority of the games that Justin Fields played in when he was snapping, they were all decided by one possession. You remember the first time Justin Fields played against the Detroit Lions? They had no answer for this dude. And if Justin Fields ends up making the strides and improvement that many people expect him to make, Justin Fields not only is going to have a MVP caliber season, but the Chicago Bears are going to be one of the best teams in the NFC. I know that's a really bold statement. That's a really bold prediction. They're in a really competitive division. But when you have a quarterback that ends up reaching a superstar level, that's how good your team can become. Look at how good Trevor Lawrence was last year, and look how good Jacksonville was. They end up winning their division. The Detroit Lions, they have a really good team, but when you have a superstar quarterback, it just takes your team to a completely different level. And I've even heard many people suggest that Justin Fields could have a similar leap in improvement to what Jalen Hurts had last year back in 2022. Justin Fields, he doesn't have to go against one of the toughest schedules in the NFL. The Chicago Bears only played four teams this season that went to the playoffs last year. One of those teams includes the Tim Bay Buccaneers, who probably aren't going to be all that good this year. And I know that strength of schedule in the offseason isn't really a good metric to go by, but I think the Chicago Bears have a pretty manageable schedule. They don't play too many tough teams and too many teams that should give them a lot of problems. And if Justin Fields ends up balling out this league this year, I don't see no reason why the Chicago why the Chicago Bears shouldn't be able to win the NFC North this season. The Minnesota Vikings, they got Kirk Cousins. I think that you kind of handicap when you have Kirk Cousins at QB as opposed to when you have Justin Fields, who if he ends up reaching that superstar level, without a doubt, he'll be the best QB in this division. Justin Fields is going to make or break the
the Chicago Bears this season. If he balls out, this is going to be amongst the best teams in this conference. And if he struggles this year and he's not consistent and he's inconsistent as a passer like how he was last season, then Chicago Bears most likely are not going to be able to make it to the postseason. They do have a solid team, but this team isn't going to be good enough to support a struggling quarterback. Now, do I believe Justin Fields is going to struggle? Absolutely not. He's my favorite player in the NFL right now, simply for the fact that he carried my fantasy football team on his back last year. And you look at the pieces that he has around him this year, he has way more to work with compared to last year. Last year, once Darnell Mooney got hurt, he was throwing to guys such as Dante Pettis, Equinamia St. Brown. Anytime those guys are your number one options, you're in a lot of trouble. And I'm not trying to say those guys are bums or scrubs or anything like that, but Dante Pettis and Equinemia St. Brown, they probably wouldn't be starters on the majority of NFL teams going into this year. I believe in their offensive coordinator, Luke Getze. He did a really good job at tailoring this offense around Justin Fields. Chicago should be able to do way more in the passing game. I keep hearing this narrative about Justin Fields was so bad as a passer that the Chicago Bears didn't want to give him opportunities to throw the football. That's false. The reason why Justin Fields didn't have a lot of opportunities to throw the football last year and why the Chicago Bears ranked amongst the worst in passing attempts last year and passing offense was because first of all he had a bad offensive line he was running for his life and he had a terrible group of wide receivers. Darnell Mooney went down, they traded for Chase Claypool, but what did he do? Absolutely nothing. So, of course, the Chicago Bears were going to throw the football less, and they were going to put more emphasis on the run game because that's what the strength of their team was, running the football with Justin Fields and the good duo of running backs that they had last year. David Montgomery's gone, but you still do have Khalil Herbert. You got Rashawn Johnson, who many people were a big fan of coming out of this year's draft out of Texas. Deontay Foreman, so there's talent in the backfield. If Justin Fields ends up struggling this year, the people who were saying that he should have been traded at the start of this offseason, the Bears should have taken a quarterback in this year's draft, number one overall, they're going to be proven right. But if this man ends up balling out and snapping like how many people, myself included, believe that he will, I think the Bears are going to be a force to be reckoned with in this conference and I think they probably will end up winning this division despite how good the Detroit Lions are when you just got a good team and a very good quarterback it's very hard to deny them winning their division and Justin Fields he is a pretty good deep ball thrower when he's on he's on not only can he kill you with his legs but he also could end up being a fantastic passer with the addition of DJ Moore who's been one of the more underrated receivers in the game he has great hands he's a fantastic route runner not too many people know how good DJ Moore has been because he's been playing in the and Carolina, and Carolina hasn't really given him good quarterbacks. You probably could make the argument and say that Justin Fields is the best quarterback that DJ Moore has ever played with up to this point of his career. Justin Fields' performance this season is going to make or break the Chicago Bears in 2023. How he performs is going to greatly determine how far the Bears go this season, if they go anywhere at all.